Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn IT. So today I will be talking about uh, Utah features that is dark theme and the theme builder. So I will tell you how we can use it or activate it in our personal developer instance and see how these can be used. All right, so let us proceed further and see uh, those dark theme and the theme builder. Right, so currently you can see uh, we are having the normal theme. So it is a light theme generally, which is the default theme as well for this instance. So currently you can see uh, no any theme is applied here. All right, so now we, we have to see uh, where we can change our theme. So you, we have clicked on our theme and you can see this is the default theme that is the light theme and this is the dark theme all right so dark theme uh, some of the features were introduced in utah previously also there was a dark theme but it was not activated for all the forms or list in the system all right so let us see uh, what happens when we click on dark theme so i have clicked on th dark theme now you can see dark theme is activated on our instance and now you can see this dark theme is applied on our form layout as well all right so let us see how this behaves in our list layout so you can see this is also working in our list layout and as well as our form layout and now we will see uh, what all places it can uh, it can be viewed as a dark theme so there are multiple places where we can see this dark theme enabled. First is like list, another forms, dashboard, widgets, knowledge, service catalog, virtual agent client and virtual task board landing page. So all those places you can see this dark theme activated on your uh, instance. All right. So this is really cool. So I will show you how this looks in workspace also. So I have clicked on a CMDB workspace and you can see our CMDB workspace is there. Currently the data is not present. So you can see this CI summary. Uh, there are some colorful bar graph generated here. All right. So here we can see we can click on governance or CMDB 360 or we can go to our CMDB management. All right, so this is the workspace also where we can see this dark theme is already activated. So now let's proceed to our next feature that is theme builder. All right, first let me deactivate this dark theme. Now you can see our dark theme is deactivated. So now let me select my admin page here first. And we are talking about theme builder, right? So theme builder, we have to activate one of the plugin for using theme builder. So I have clicked on plugin and the list of plugins will be opened here. And we have to search for theme builder. So you can see this is a plugin uh, which we have to activate while we are doing upgrade. It might be already activated if you are getting the instance directly for Utah version. All right. So after activating this plugin, we have to go to our filter navigator and type theme builder. You can see there are uh, multiple things present under theme builder. You have to click here and you can see all the editing or managing our theme. We can see here or we can create a new theme as well. So here you can see there are three options, home, manager, editor. So manager, you can see we can manage our themes, whatever we have created. So currently you can see there are our themes created. So this is the one which was created custom. And this is the one which is for next experience. And this is also the out of the box one, which is already created. So I will show you how we can create or set our theme. All right. So we can click on editor as well. So you can see this is our editor where you can edit 
the themes whichever you have created so first what we will do we will try to create a new theme for our service now developer instance all right so i will click on theme create theme button you can see we are having multiple options here lo company logo and brand color primary secondary and other additional colors we can set these all things so currently i will define some theme here so I will give a name uh, suppose theme I will give this a uh, learn it theme for demo all right so i have added some random name here and i will click on next and now here we can set the primary color and you can see where this primary color will be uh, changing on so you can see this uh, this place and this header place we can see the change of this primary color so i will try to change it basically i will add suppose yeah i will add this and you can see this is the uh, color which is applied here and you can see the scroller is light light color of this and now we will click on next and you can see we can add a secondary color so if we are not using any secondary color a uh, brand a uh, brand primary color will be used so let me try to make it as more light all right so i have added this color here and i will click on next and uh, here there are more color uh, all right so let me select anything here as well i'll click on next and now here we can add more colors right so we can add multiple colors here as well all right you can delete also if you want if you don't want any additional colors i will click on next and now here you can see we can uh, upload our logo where we have some specification of this logo like uh, the <clears throat> this logo should not be uh, greater than 120 kb not larger than 4 400 into 50 pixel <clears throat> and it should be supporting svg png and jpg all right so we can upload our logo here so currently i am not using any logo so you can use your logo based on this specification all right so i will click on next and here you can select whichever font you want to select for your theme so i will be selecting this cabin one because it uh, really looks good and you can see various things here open sans source sans pro and lato and cabin cabin one looks better for me okay i have clicked on next now you can see there are multiple things uh, like how you want to add the corner of our theme so you can click on rounded less rounded more rounded square you can see the changes here you will see most rounded so uh, personally i like the most rounded one so i have selected it and i have click on next now you can see this is the theme how it will be looking uh, whenever this theme is applied all right so i will click on create theme and you can see our theme is created here and now what we can do for applying this theme for our uh, pdi so you can just click on apply theme and you can see our theme is applied all right so let us see how our theme looks in our instance so i have to reload this uh, instance again you can see our theme is applied here and this was our logo already existing one where i am using it and now you can see this header is pink in color right and you can see this hover it's looking different right so if i open some incident form so we can see the effect already applied you can see 
this light color and you can see the changes being uh, reflecting everywhere as soon as I will click on this incident record so you can see you can see some of the theme is uh, are applied here already those color is reflecting here right you can see this uh, background of this field uh, this outline border outline of this field right okay so now you can see this color how it is displaying so this is this all things are coming from theme builder right so you can create any number of themes for your uh, instance and you can see the effect how your instance looks or based on some specifications provided by client right so these are the two features which are much interesting and where you can make uh, the changes based on ui right because people uh, like us generally like uh, ui the most right so theme builder and this dark theme will definitely excite the people who are more interested on ui side right so please provide your comment if you have any questions doubts or queries related to this session for more information please visit the description section under this video thanks for hearing me out stay tuned for more videos please do like share and subscribe to my channel learn it Thank you.